if you're claustrophobic, this is not the movie for you. I'm sorry. Also, I did not know this was the movie for me <laughs> watching it. And I'll explain that in a second what I mean. But yeah, let's get into the review of this new film that's dropping on Netflix very soon, right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. So today we're reviewing the film Oxygen, which is going to be dropping on Netflix May 12th. Now, I'm going to explain my my statement I made in a second, because it's definitely going to be tailored to uh, the back end of this because of spoilers. But yeah, it's, it's weird how reviewing movies go sometimes. <laughs> you just never know what you're going to stumble upon. And like, and to be honest, you stumble upon things that you just like, you know what? I had no clue. Like, I just draw that type of like attraction. Like the whole idea of like, you know what you like and you didn't know you were looking for it, but here you are type of thing. I'm talking to so much code, but whatever. But yeah, you, so in this film, right? And why I say, you know, if you're costogenic, uh, a claustrophobic, excuse me, uh, this is probably not the movie for you because you have this woman who wakes up in a cryogenic. See why I got the words messed up there? Um, we up in this cryogenic chamber and she has like no recollection as to how she got there, who she is at the point, And she truly has to find a way out because she's running out of oxygen. So like she's stuck in this little tube or like this little canister. Um, and she is trying to like grasp the situation, but at the same time trying to figure out well, how in the world did I get here? Who am I? And, and so on. So, what drew me to this is because I looked at this and I was like, oh, what is this like future tech stuff? And I, I, you know, I always love when you're, you're dealing with, um, you know, that, that genre and even the aesthetic of it, it kind of looks, um, you know, futuristic and whatnot with advanced technology and, 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 and then sure it is, you know, in this little, um, chamber that she's in, um, it has its own AI and she basically gets in contact with the world outside of this because of the, um, the different capabilities she has. So she's able to make calls, she's able to search, but at the same time, she's still running out of time. So this advanced technology Miro, which is basically the AI for this, um, is trying to coach her to get through this situation. He's giving her all forms of like precautions and whatnot, breathing exercise and everything to preserve the oxygen while she tries to figure out a way to get out of it. So while all this is happening too, no one's also around to help her. So she's panicking and like, She's having all types of psychotic episodes because of this, because of the isolation, essentially, and memory fall. So now she's having all forms of like illusions and delusions, should I say. By that notion, too, the illusion scenes that she had, I thought were beautiful. Like visually, thought was really, really beautiful because you're not really getting nothing else outside of those and this her and this thing. So, you know, it's, it's not a lot going on with that. Um, but. I was intrigued just by how, how the status look of the trailer and kind of um, just, uh, you know, when you even read this synopsis, like, okay, what, what's up with that? That seems very basic, so it's got to be something more to it. And obviously, it's the whole mystery of who is she and how is she going to survive this? I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. I think she started out with like 35% oxygen. And I was like, oh, she definitely don't have a chance. Uh, and, and it's the idea of like, where does this movie go? Does she just die and, and suffocate? Does she get out? And when she gets out, what's out there? You know, where is she? But um, yeah. And then I I'll say this too. What I ultimately did not like about this film is because I did not feel a connection with the distress she was in because it kind of to a point, it was kind of like she was just being ignorant. Like this AI was telling her all the things not to do and she just kept doing the opposite. And it's just like, okay, so you want to die. So I can't feel sorry for you if you're going to be stupid, you know? Uh, but nonetheless, you know, I, that, that was my issue with the film is that I, I felt um, a disconnect with the protagonist here. And I think in any form of a horror or mystery or whatnot, you want to feel close to them because that brings the extra layer of suspense and horror and just ultimately the connection that the audience can can should have with the film. And it's not bad, but it also lacked it. Like it really it's, it's the one thing it truly, truly needed. Now here, here, here's what I'm gonna say about this. This is a this may be a spoiler, so I'm gonna give you a second if you don't wanna hear this, um, to exit the video and stay tuned for another video review. 
after this. Um, so again, a spoiler. I, you know, and again, I don't know if this is in the trailer. I can't remember. But like, how in the world do I find myself watching films that always somehow leads me to a film in space? <laughs> and essentially, after seeing Voyagers, after seeing Life, after seeing Star Trek, uh, um, uh, what's into the dark in, into darkness? There's a there's a commonality between all. There's a similarity between the three of them of something that happens, and like this film is exactly that. It it, it really is. there's like a small tweak to it, but that this film is nothing more than what you can find similar amongst the three of them. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, it's just funny because I was just like. I wasn't looking for another film like this, and well, here I am. I somehow always attract the type of films that I like, and I I, I love I love a good space film, and I love you know just the idea of the beyond, and then uh, and then advanced tech and and AI, and <laughs> here I am once again. But nonetheless, yeah, Oxygen. I think you know if this is your your cup of tea, then you're gonna check it out. Uh, I didn't hate the film. I didn't love it. But again, I felt like the, the really big issue that probably would have made this a lot more better is if I was able to really connect with um, your lead here who's in distress. I mean, technically about to die. The oxygen uh, meter is on the screen almost at all times. So you're like, all right, here's the thing. If you know that your oxygen's running low and you're panicking, you're crying, you're getting louder and you're breathing more and the, the AI is telling you, Miro's saying, Hey, uh, you might want to slow down with that. You might want to not do that. You might want to let me put you in a deep sleep. All these things like, no, 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 no. Okay, well, there you go. <laughs> if you choose to die, then you so have it. Um, but yeah, you know, maybe there's a possibility for something to happen after this film. I don't know. But I will say, like, I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. And if this is your cup of tea, you'll check it out, obviously. But yeah, this is Oxygen dropping on Netflix May 12th. If you have Netflix, then it's going to be one of the things that pop up. And I will say, like, you don't have to go out the way to look for it. And you don't have to go out of your way to miss it. Like, if you want to check it out, check it out. It's not that long either. It's about an hour and 30 minutes. So a uh, short film or average film, shall I say now. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, definitely jump in the comments. Let me know what you thought about this film when you check it out. And stay tuned because we've got more reviews coming very soon. Thank you for watching, folks.